Hey everybody, welcome back to Land Yacht Garage. In today's video, it's going to be an October subscriber update. Um, the last video that I wasn't expecting to do good did extremely well, like 400 views, which is huge for me. Uh, so there's some new subscribers to the channel. So if you are new to the channel, uh, usually I try once a month to do a subscriber update. Things that aren't in videos and whatnot. So... Uh, today's an August subscriber update. It is a shitty, cold, rainy day. I got shit to do, as you've probably already seen. So, uh, let's start off with my 96. And I resealed the windshield in this. That was in the last video. But it still leaks a little bit. So, this is my first time. It's been raining here for about two days. This is my first time looking in it. As you can see, I got some 5% window tint. And yeah, as expected, it's soaked. There's one leak there, and then one leak over there. Um, my 112 is doing pretty good. Tomo uh, tomorrow, I have a new head unit coming. It's a big touch screen. Uh, that was not cheap about 175 bucks on sale for prime day and then same on prime day i ordered this starlight headliner that i got to do at some point i'm just gonna rip the fabric off and uh then do the starlight so uh that's a whole nother project for a whole nother day and my amp's wet great so uh, no other updates on this. I do have wheels, wheels for it. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, that whole pain in the ass. I had the other door panel, but I gotta finish adjusting the other door. Um, come to find out, I had this weird running issue, and it was actually the plenum gasket wasn't seated right, and I haven't fixed it. I haven't touched this thing in about a week. Uh, let's go down here. Something that was here at the end of the last video is no longer here. The Bronco has some, uh, crackhead come and take the body. So that's gone. The frame and stuff is down here, and I can see that the tart blew off the motor, so that's great. Um, this is, whole thing is currently up for sale on Marketplace for 200 bucks. Uh, good running 5.0. Um, good, decent a AOD transmission. Some sort of transfer case. Good Dana 44 axle with a 6 inch lift. So, yeah. There's what's left of the Bronco. I gotta take these wheels off and list those up on Marketplace. Um, top is over there because that is now the doghouse. Not like they use it, but whatever. As you can see, it's just a big old muddy mess. Uh, nothing's changed up there. Those are just some lawnmowers, generators, and shit. Uh, the tow dolly you guys seen um, about, that's about two, three months ago now is shoved in the corner of my property waiting for my neighbor to come up and weld it but he's been extremely busy so that has not happened yet i'd really like to get it done before the end of the year but it might be a spring project still getting rid of this plow i got rid of the other eight foot electric that was sitting here the ranger this fucking thing i'm pretty sure it was in the last video um I went to move it forward. It's always had an issue. I could never keep a transmission cooler line in it. And I, uh, it, it was here. I put another gallon of ATF in it, went to move it. And nope, uh, it would not, it wouldn't climb up that. Like it was low on fluid, which the front calipers are a little sticky. So the little 2.3 liter make a 70 horse. On a good day, probably making 50 now. Not a huge surprise that it wouldn't make it up that. 
and then I went to back it down here to get a running start. It got stuck on a rock, and then I look underneath, and it blew the transmission cooler line off. So, what I think is maybe you guys can give me your opinions in the comments. Is it's a bad modulator valve, which isn't controlling line pressure correctly, or it's a clogged transmission cooler. I'm not sure. Um, this is not a this year's project. This is spring project. Um, same state it was. In the last time you guys saw it yeah same state nothing's changed um, I was gonna you know do a low box restoration to it but that tires flat not worth my time I've had it up on marketplace nobody wants to buy it for 1400 which is pretty much breaking even on it which it is ready for the road and obviously, before I'd sell it, I would figure out that transmission cooler line issue. No, but I haven't had a single person message me. Well, I've had a couple, and they were all bullshitters. So, um, there's where I am on that. Uh, what my plans are for it, no idea. I guess next step would be trying to trade it for something. Because I was going to do a fender, paint it undercoat the hole underneath and do carpet do the interior and sell it for five grand but if i put another let's just say 750 bucks into it and 50 60 hours of labor nobody wants it for 1400 nobody's gonna pay five grand for it so there's that uh it is extremely cold out today. It's in the 40s, and it is, well, you guys, today's Monday, Columbus Day. You guys will be seeing this Thursday. Uh, having another guy come for that. That's the old, uh, one of my 66 Cadillac Fleetwood whole front um, frame section with suspension and everything because the guy uh, that got my 66 DeVille that I traded the Bronco for completely fucked me over and that was a part of the deal but he's no longer getting that obviously um, still got old lawnmower tires <laughs> some old old subscribers of the channel there's a couple of you Apparently, people don't like when I say that in videos. Trolls, I guess. Um, remember when I was doing lawnmowers and owned a, over 150 in a three-year span? Uh, got a set of Ranger wheels, some other miscellaneous wheels, dry shafts, a Ranger tailgate, an extra door. Bunch of stupid stuff, so... And over here, we have more wheels. That's pretty much it on that. So let me go back up front and show you guys some more stuff. About time to get the snowmobile out. Um, there's already been northern parts of, like, way up north in New Hampshire. It's already gotten snow. Obviously, Mount Washington... In New Hampshire, uh, has already got a lot of snow. Uh, this is my 97 Polaris Indy Trail uh, 488 fan cooled. Last year, I well, last January, I bought it for 450 bucks. Uh, put another couple of hundred bucks into it. Did new skis, a new track, a new. Uh, drive belt, tune-up, stuff like that. Almost time to get this thing out. It needs probably another tune-up. It's been sitting all summer. Uh, clean up the tank. Uh, I got to do a brake light switch to it because it blew out and I have no brakes. I was looking at new shocks for this thing because uh, let's just say that is extremely true. 
and they are like 200 bucks a set and I need two sets so this piece of shit is not getting that uh, I'll get to that too uh, Dana 60 rear axle that came out of that well we'll get to that I got some fucking cleaning up to do because this is just absurd uh, yeah, I'll get to that here in a second. Wheels and tires for my truck. Um, these are the Bullnose's old wheels. There's, there's one video on that truck. I'm going to say it now. Uh, go watch it. It's a very good video that I, it's probably my best edited video I've ever done. And it got like 40 views. Uh, it was about five months ago. And... Yeah, it, you'll see it on my channel. So, these are 32s on 18s. And the tires are not good, and I don't want 32s. So, the wheels are trashed. But, I don't care. I'm going to end up doing 24 by 14s on my truck. So, I picked up these set of Nitto's Rain Ridge Grapplers. 35, 12, 50, 18s for free. He's as a dealership right down the road from me. And they have dry rot. Not terrible or anything. I mean, they're only three years old. And I brought them to the tire warehouse to get them mounted. He looks at them. He's like, oh, yeah, bring them by. And well, first I said, do you guys mount used tires? He said, yes. So I loaded them all up in the truck, fucking drove a half an hour there, get them unloaded, sit in the parking lot for a half an hour before they even touch them, and then he goes over, looks at them, oh, these have dry rot, I can't touch them. So I'm like, they're literally just for burnouts, can I sign a wave or anything? Nope, we can't mount them. So, waste of two hours out of my day, I am just going to mount them myself, uh, you guys don't know this, but I worked as at a tire shop for a year and a half, so I've done my fair share of tires. Um, I'm just going to mount them, demount these ones myself, mount these ones on. I'm actually hopefully going to be going up to my old work, and I'm going to get balance beads for these. And I'm just going to beat them, call it good. I don't care, uh, because these aren't staying on the truck. And if I was keeping those wheels, which I'm not, once I do my 4-inch lift, I'd do 37s anyway. And now it's raining a lot harder. I just picked up this. <laughs> so, I just picked up this. No idea what it is. Well, I do. This is a, I assume, late 80s, 90s, Yamaha Big Bear 350. I uh, just went and picked this thing up last night. This is actually my first time looking at it in the daytime after I've already ordered $200 in parts. Picked this thing up for $200, uh, about an hour away. Um... Wiring on it is shot, but there's really no wiring harness on these four-wheelers. It's just all connectors, so I bought a new voltage regulator for it, a brand new carburetor because this intake boot's broke. So I bought a brand new carburetor, intake boot, tune-up kit. Um, throttle's not happy, but that's in the carburetor. A new bar switch thing, a new ignition switch. A new CDI box, a new stator, bought a shit ton of parts for it, so this thing will be ripping here soon, hopefully by this weekend. Uh, definitely a little uh, rougher looking once I got it home, but 200 bucks, whatever. It has compression, it has 90 PSI, not great, but it has been sitting, so that should go up as I run it. And it does have a winch mounting plate, so... I uh, have a 5,000 pound winch that I could very well put on it. Came with two sets of fenders, which one I'm just now noticing is completely broken. 
two fuel tanks, set of front fenders. Uh, yeah. So, not bad. 200 bucks. I'll probably have 400 bucks into it, but this is a keeper. It's four wheel drive. I say it's a keeper, but more than likely I'll end up selling it. So, today is Monday. Friday, I decided to tear into the bullnose. Like I said, go watch the other video on that. There's way more details on this truck and everything. We got it out of New York. Well, it originally came from Oregon. The guy had it shipped to New York, restored it. He ended up moving to Maine. And then we ended up getting it. So we got in a very good trade deal on our part. Granted, the truck wasn't as good as uh, he stated. So... Uh, we've had it for about three years, but it hasn't never had a purpose. For example, it's a 408 stroker small block. Um, it blew up. Well, we blew it up at the drag strip early this year in about early June. I rebuilt the motor, put it back in. Uh, it has a C6, built C6, and with a Borg Warner... 1306, I think, transfer case. I'm not sure. Is it 1356? I can't remember. And it had full F250 suspension, Dana 50, uh, twin traction beam, front axle, full wheel drive, obviously, with a Dana 60 rear axle, eight lug, but it never had a front drive shaft. Never. Because of the headers. So. This truck would never see off-roading anyway. It is extremely solid, other than a couple of spots on the bed. Um, so, I said, fuck it. About a month ago, we started collecting parts for it. And I got a two-wheel drive front suspension with three-inch drop beams. For 400 bucks, and everything is 100% brand new on it. That's over $1,500 right there. Um, main reason I parted out the Bronco, I'll get to that in a second here. I got, I had a 4-inch rear drop from my old 84 F-150. An old Sterling 10 and a quarter temporarily until uh, we do some work to the 9-inch. New F-150 leaf springs. Um, these wheels obviously aren't staying on it. Don't know what happened there. But ordering wheels this week for it, so it is going to be low, but the twin traction beam and the twin I-beam have different suspension mounts in the cradle, and um, I need those. So I found a guy out of Pennsylvania, uh, he just, well I just paid him for him last night, he's shipping them out today, because I started bolting and bolting in the front end, and I'm like, that is outside of the wheel well that's not right so yeah the mounts are different so this truck will be done hopefully within two weeks because i need my shelter back so um here's a ford nine inch uh this thing i gotta cut these i-beams off these on the bronco these were the lift kit and they welded them to the axle I gotta cut off the spring mat perch things because I gotta then I gotta degree the rear end and everything. But that's a project for next year because this is a whole nother project. Um, Want to do a disc brake conversion to the truck for rear disc, so gotta get those. I'm gonna pull the sander section out, verify what gears are in it, um, have the whole axe. Full axle sandblasted and maybe powder coated. Highly doubt that. That is just stupidly expensive by me. Uh, the bed, I pulled the bed off to do the rear suspension way easier. So, and then I forgot to tell you guys about this. Um, we ended up getting a T5 five speed for it. That's laying right there in the rain because. This was a very unexpected rainstorm. So, ditching the C6, ditching the transfer case, 
and it's gonna go with a T5 five speed. Um, speaking of that, if anybody, if anyone or anybody you know has put a T5 behind a 351, not a 302, what did you guys use for a clutch? Because I'm having some uh, problems. So, got to get the pedals. And then this bench seat won't work where the shifter is on the T5. So we're going to get bucket seats for it. But that's next year's project. Because that's about another two grand because we're going to have to have a dry shaft made. So. Uh, here is the old front axle laying here on the ground trying to sell it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I, speaking of, I wasn't going to film this, but I'm going to upload this video. I'm not going to touch this truck in a couple of days until uh, those front brackets come in. But I wasn't, the views on the channel was down and everything. And I wasn't going to film this at all. And I was honestly thinking of backing off of YouTube for a little while. Just because it's kind of frustrating when you, because takes a lot of time out of your day trying to do this. And it was frustrating because the videos were getting like 60 views. And I wasn't gaining anything, but hopefully that will change. So, next week's video will be on this. Getting the front end in it. Probably getting this thing wrapped up. So, um, like I said, I already started on the rear. With no intentions of filming this whole project, but now I'm like, eh, might as well. So, there we go. That's going to be next week's video. Hopefully the weather clears up here soon. Um, kind of frustrating. So, I don't think there's anything else. So, I guess, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next video.